I was pretty messed up after I broke up with Tasha. I dated all these different women and none of them were close to Tasha. I had a few serious relationships after, but all of those guys had one major flaw. They weren't Christian. One time I accidentally yelled out Christian's name in bed with another guy. Oh yeah, she told me that story. What can I say? I love him more than anything. I don't know what I'd do without him. What would she do without me? She'll never have to find out. Well, hello there, Christian. Just getting home from work, I see. Ugh, there she is. We have got to get rid of her, Christian. Ugh, kissing her hello. I hope you don't catch a disease. Oh. She's leading you into another room. The bedroom, I'm guessing. Don't you guys have young children at home? Oh, wait. It's Friday night. They're with your in-laws. Because that's what you do every Friday night. You dump those kids with your in-laws so you and your little wifey can do whatever it is you do. We both know what it is you do. She knows how you like it, Christian. But so do I. I can make you happy. Oh, hi, Natasha. Oh, hi. I'm sorry, do we know each other? Oh no, I'm Eve. I'm a friend of your husband Christian's from a long time ago. Oh, how do you two know oh, each other? Oh, sorry, gotta go. Nice to see you, Tasha. Oh, I dated her very briefly in law school and then I realized she was a psycho and, and I broke up with her. This unhinged woman is an attorney? No. She had a nervous breakdown and left the school. Surprise. Psycho in what way exactly? She started talking to friends of mine that I'd never introduced her to and showing up outside of places that I was when I'd never told her I would be there. And then the final straw was when she was waiting for me outside of my parents' house and I'd never told her where they lived. You know that their place is harder to find online than Beyonce's. And now she's just here in our neighborhood? Christian, she knew my name. She even called me Tasha in like a menacing way. Only you call me that, which means she obviously deep stalked one or both of our social media profiles. Like, why is she here? I have no idea. I haven't spoken or talked to her in the 10 years since we broke up. Well, two can play at this game. Found her on Facebook. Wow. Everything is public. She posts a lot. She's a brunette now. What do you mean she's brunette now? I know she was blonde when we dated. Christian, oh my god. She dyed her hair a few months ago, around the same time I dyed mine. Christian, how are you not seeing this? What? It's the apartments across the street. She lives across the street. I'm sure it's just a coincidence that she moved in. Christian, this one stopped you and you think it's just a coincidence?
Christian. Colin? Do you remember Christian's ex-girlfriend, Eve? Oh, yeah, crazy bitch. Uh, she took a lock of his hair and then kept it after he was sleeping long after they broke up. What? I may have forgotten to mention that. Why, why, why are you bringing up uh, that psycho? She lives across the street. She just moved in. She approached me outside. She knew my name, told me she knows Christian, and before I got the chance to ask how, she's gone. Oh, oh, but not before calling me Tasha. So what are you going to do about that? I don't know. But I think my little sister can help. Hey. Hey! I have a mission for you. Ooh, what? I need you to expose this psycho bitch on fake AF. I'll help. Well, Eve certainly gave us a lot of material to work with. I mean, it's like she wants us to come after her. Okay, let's start with Facebook. I'll take 2018 till now. Ava, you take 2016-17. Jenna, you take everything prior to that. Ugh, she sells handmade dolls on Etsy? Mm, that's not creepy. Her last listed boyfriend is from 2011. You mean the last boyfriend who knew he was her boyfriend? <laughs> hmm. What? Her boyfriend from 2011, Tim, he posted in 2011. Some women just can't be trusted. Gave, I was robbed, robbed blind tonight by a woman who I gave all my trust to. Please be careful, folks. You never know what someone's capable of. God, it's too easy. Okay, we have to get a hold of him. And sent. Oh my God. It's Tim. What did he say? Hi, Ava. Thanks for reaching out. Honestly, I had tried to forget all about Eve. I had no contact with her since 2011, and after we broke up, I came home from work one day to find all my things gone. I knew it was her. She left a tray of cookies, though, and she was always a good baker, and in my stress over the robbery, I wasn't thinking, and I grabbed a cookie and took a bite. I went to the hospital later that night because it turns out they were poisoned. Oh. What the <laughs> fuck? Poisoned. Is that all he said? I mean, did anything ever happen to her as a result of her trying to kill him? I mean, he says that he tried to sue her, but because he had no security cameras, he couldn't even prove that she was in his house, let alone that she baked the poison cookies. For all they knew, it could have been anyone. story was crazy but why would she want to try and poison us uh, she probably just got delivered to the wrong door or something why don't we just do something to take our minds off of this like have sex all right you convinced me <laughs> To do it. <laughs> Remind me why I gave you a key again. Oh shit, did you eat one of those cupcakes? Fuck! Yeah, why? What's, what's the problem? <sighs> they just showed up on our doorstep and Tasha thinks that they're for me. Okay, don't make me out to be the crazy one here. 
I mean, I don't know, Kristen. She could be right. Look, uh, she probably just stalked me on Facebook, and that's why she knows that I call her Tasha. Okay, Christian, there is so much more to it than that, and you know it. It's not like... Do you have any, uh, Pepto-Bismol or Tums or something? Yeah, hang on. Huh? Oh. 